Today I'm with Ronald Sokol, who is the incoming president of the AASLD. He's joining us on the show today. Welcome to the show, Dr. Sokol. Well, thank you, Kevin. So tell me a little bit about you know, how hepatology is changing in the 21st century. We have this postgraduate course, and you know, I think uh, I'd like to know why this is so important for us here. Well, um, you mentioned the postgraduate course. We're emphasizing how we translate recent discoveries and new evidence um, that's accumulated over the past several years in order to transform how we practice hepatology. And with new drugs that are either approved or under development, uh, a better understanding of disease processes, and expanding workforce, we're able to treat and cure now many patients with liver disease. You know, that's a great point. Now that we have cures for hepatitis C that are on the market, how has that really changed a lot of the research that's being submitted to this meeting? Well, hepatitis C used to be our largest category for research abstracts, but as you say, there's a less emphasis on new discovery in hepatitis C and more about real-world clinical trials of hepatitis C. So the emphasis on liver disease is shifting. Um, we're seeing much more of an emphasis on fatty liver disease, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease with the obesity epidemic taking place not only in the United States but around the world. Also a bigger emphasis on hepatitis B which on a global basis is at least as common as hepatitis C um, and more of an emphasis on alcoholic and childhood liver diseases. So you've got a really big job coming up as you know, incoming president of AASLD. What do you see as the future of the society going forward in the next year? So the AASLD um, is also trying to keep up with the times. Um, we realize that communication devices that we've used during our childhood are no longer being used um, and that social media is really the the, the way of the future in order to communicate not only with our patients but also with each other, scientists, physicians, nurses, etc. So ASLD is uh, transforming our own infrastructure to be much more involved with social media and uh, better communication with our members. This includes our, our journals. Uh, ASLD now has a fourth journal, Hepatology Communications. Hepatology Communications is already receiving many articles uh, for publication, for review and publication. You know, social media is so vital to our communication at, at big meetings and, you know, make sure that everyone, you know, tweets to hashtag LiverMeeting17. Just a quick word here about um, the foundation. How can folks get involved in the foundation here at the Society? So the ASLD Foundation has really taken its role very serious over the last couple of years as funding for training and research grants has become more and more competitive, particularly with the NIH. So the ASLD Foundation is uh, putting a big push on to raise funds now to support young investigators, but we've also expanded this year with several new grant categories. So we now have a pilot grant category. We have bridging grants to help invest young investigators bridge to their first major grant after getting a career development grant. Um, we've expanded the number of grants and we've expanded the number of dollars per grant for several categories. So ASLD takes very seriously our responsibility to train the future generation of hepatologists. And uh, you can't train people without money these days. So uh, we, this year, I believe, will fund over three and a half million dollars of grants. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us today. It looks like we're gonna have a great meeting this week. And yeah, we're looking forward to the best day of liver meeting ever.